Hi, I'm Dr. Sam Goodchild and I'm a senior lecturer in anatomy here at ARU School of Medicine. I have a background in anatomy and my PhD is in bone development. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the ARU Anatomy Centre. Here we can see the dissection room and we also have a state-of-the-art on-site mortuary. Within the dissection room we have space for 18 cadavers including computers that students can use to do some self-study. We also have a selection of high quality anatomical models that students can use to revise from. Here at ARU Anatomy Centre we use a unique type of embalming called teal embalming. Now this is primarily formed of alcohol and salts and this means that the cadavers we use are much more lifelike and it means the students get a much better teaching experience out of that. The benefits of using teal embalmed cadavers is that the bodies are preserved to be in a more lifelike form. So after we come from an anatomy lecture and come into the dissection lab, we feel the tissue and we use scalpel base to cut up the tissue and it feels exactly as it would as if we were, say, in a surgery. And that allows us to retain the knowledge a bit more. It allows us to relate it to what we see on placements in surgery. And I think that's just best for our learning in general, as opposed to other forms of preservation where the tissue is much harder, doesn't feel as, as realistic, and we can't sort of make out the function of certain muscles and the elasticity of the skin the same way. So it's a much, much better way of preserving bodies. And I think it's very much better for our learning. All of our cadavers are embalmed on site in our mortuary and the process takes around six months. Once the cadaver has been embalmed, it can be used for teaching or for surgical courses. We have 18 donors within the dissection room for our medical students to dissect. We have years one, two and three with dissection within the curriculum and these students will dissect throughout the year. On the MBCHV course, the year one students will study osteology and then they will dissect the respiratory system, the cardiovascular system, and the gastrointestinal system. In year two, they will study the ears, nose, and throat, the renal system, and the musculoskeletal system. When they get into year three, we study neurology and the reproductive system. What I like most about having full body dissection is you really get to see everything right from the start. There's nothing um, like having a model that's separate. You get to see the body as a whole, you get to go right the way through from the start to the end. You get to see what's happening throughout the different years and everybody is different. So you get to see those variations in anatomy that you just don't get with models. You can't just take something out because you feel like it. You need to have actual consideration for where are these muscles coming from? What are they joined to? What are they innovated by? What nerves are there? And that's just completely untouchable from plastic models. And that is what really made me enjoy this dissection. So it's really important that we treat all of the cadavers here with the dignity that they deserve. They are people. They deserve to be treated that way. We treat them as though they've had their life before they were here and they are now giving us a teaching opportunity and that is really followed to the absolute T. At ARU, all of the faculty staff here who work in the anatomy lab are extremely passionate about what they do. We have the opportunity to come in out of hours sometimes if there's something that you really want to learn about and everyone who's teaching us here are ex-clinicians or are absolute experts in the anatomical field. You get insights that you just are not able to get from people who only do anatomy. So you get all of the clinical correlates that actually come into practice when you go and see these patients in real life. And what's so incredible about that as well is that a lot of these clinicians are able to track back the pathology that you're seeing in these cadavers. And that is just, when you then see those patients in clinic, you are able to completely visualise what's going on internally, which just deepens that understanding massively and it's something that I really enjoy.